This year I'm attempting to row from Japan to San Francisco as the first woman to cross. This is my boat, Icha. I named her Ichiriba Chodei, and forgive me for my pronunciation, every Japanese person in the world. Um, it's an Okinawan saying that means once we meet, we're family. Uh -huh. And the community of people that have come together to help make this possible for me and this journey and the science is incredible. The boat itself is carbon. Um, I built it with a team of people, which I never expected to be able to say, <laughs> over the last three years of build-up, so getting the design and figuring out what I'm doing and getting the right group of people together who know what they're doing when it comes to carbon. The boat is a larger bow. I keep all of my food on board, so I am fully supported for the entire time. I have no support vessel whatsoever. I've got about 1,200 pounds of food. I've got an electric water maker, um, desalinator for those that maybe don't know what a water maker is, mm -hmm. which means that once I pump water through, it strips everything out of it. Um, I have to add back minerals to my diet and also to the water, so I use USANA nutritional stuff and then Vitargo in my water is just straight starch all the time to keep up my calories because I'm burning between seven to 10,000 calories a day. So right now I'm 40 pounds up from where I usually am to have that extra fat on board to make me kind of happy <laughs> through the duration. Uh -huh. um, the weird thing people don't think about is the fact that when you're burning calories from rowing, yeah, you're maybe rowing 12 to 18 hours a day, but you're also burning calories at rest. So I burn four to five times as many calories at rest uh -huh. because of the rock of the boat. Okay. My body's constantly adjusting. I'm looking forward to the first stroke, <laughs> and then I assume there'll be many more after that, and all of them will bring with them with each individual one their own magic uh -huh. um, and I just try not to look too far into the future. Uh -huh.